गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज अवर टॉपिक इज अ मेमरी मैनेजमेंट सो एज वी ऑल आर नो द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम कंसिस द मल्टीपल डेटा एंड द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑल्सो परफॉर्म्स द वेरियस ऑपरेशन ऑन दैट डेटा दैट्स वाई द मेमरी मैनेजमेंट कंसेप्ट इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम सो अंडर दिस the memory allocation deallocation is done by the operating system now what is the mean of allocation when we allocate the memory means what we can access the memory or data then the second term is a deallocation means it can free up the memory or it can the free up the space and memory management is also free memory is checked Okay, it also checks the free memory if available. Then, the memory management concept provides the single continuous memory management technique. So, what is about the single management? In this, the program is loaded in a continuous memory location. As the name suggests, in continuous memory management, the program is loaded. in a contiguous memory location but the non contiguous does not required it okay so the program should be divided into the chunk the chunk is same size in a paging and the different size in a segmentation i will explain the paging and segmentation concept in a next slide okay so see what is the exact meaning of this management technique memory is divided into the two contiguous area you can see in a below image first one the first area is what it is a operating system so this is a permanently allocated to the operating system and the second space is used for the user process area okay so at a time only one user process is in a memory this is your single contiguous memory management so what is the advantage of this mem this scheme has a very fast access time but its use is a very limited okay it not having the multi user facility only single user process is in a memory this is the this advantage of the single contiguous memory management then your next topic is a partition so generally what the main memory is divided into the various section so this is called as a partition what is the meaning of partition the main memory is divided into the various section so there are two types of partitions are available the first one is a fixed partition and the second one is the variable partition see what is the meaning of first fixed partition in this scheme the partition could be of the different sizes one side one decided at the time of system generation and they could not be changed okay so this is the oldest and very simple technique which is used to put more than one processes in the main memory okay so in partitioning the number of partitions in a ram are fixed size okay but the size of each partitions may or may not be same so you can see in a diagram the fixed partitions having the id and their partitions having the starting address then size and the status you can see in a below diagram there is a four process that is a p4 process means p0 to p4 that is five processes are available okay and the starting address is starting from the zero key so you can see the first one that is a p0 having the 100 key that is it is starts from 0 to 100 key and its status is allocated then the second one is a p1 that is starts from 100k to 300k means what its total size is a 200k and it is a free block so whenever a process is enter into the queue 
then or whenever uh, the data is entered in a queue then that data is fed into the process p1 why because it is a pre memory okay then you having a process a then you having a process b and so on okay this is the working of the fixed partition now you can see the next one is the variable partition what is the meaning of variable partition in this the space in a main memory is allocated strictly according to the need of processes so hence there is a no case of internal fragmentation now what is the internal fragmentation this concept it, it is a disadvantage of the fixed partition okay now see what is the meaning of internal fragmentation and external fragmentation these both are the disadvantage of fixed partition in internal fragmentation if a partition is of 100 k and it has to be allocated to a process of 18 k then what will be happen the 20 k memory is wasted this is called as the internal fragmentation okay and the next one is the external fragmentation so suppose if two free partitions of that is the 30k and 50k are available and the process of 60k has to be accommodated then the both partitions can't be allocated in this process so there is again wastage of memory space this is called as the external fragmentation so another disadvantage is what the time complexity is a very low because allocation and deallocation routines are simple as the partitions are fixed and the access time is not very high okay so this is what external fragmentation your next one is a variable partition okay so in this partition there is a no case of internal fragmentations like the main memory is allocated strictly according to the need of process means what your space is not wasted in this type of partition okay so there will be a no unused space left in the partition you can see in a below diagram the os first one is what your operating system the first one your operating system is loaded into the memory and all the rest of the memory is free okay then you can see in the second step the process p1 p1 into loaded in the memory and start its execution after that p2 is loaded into memory and starts its execution then in fourth again p3 is loaded into the memory and starts its execution now you can see in a fifth block that is p1 is a block you can see p1 is a fill in a black color means what p1 is block so after a while p4 wants to occupy the memory the existing free space is less than the size of p4 suppose assume that p4 is smaller than p1 but it is bigger than the free area available at the bottom so what will be happen p1 is swap out and two chunks of free space in a memory you can see in the diagram after that see in a six point p4 is loaded and starts its execution okay now p4 is loaded in the same space available as p1 is less than sorry p4 is less than p1 okay this is all about six step then comes to the seventh step now what will be happen suppose p2 is terminated and only p4 and p3 is continue then the free area at the top and the one released by p2 can be joined so you can see p in a eight block p1 is swap out and also free space in the middle is sufficient to hold p1 so the another process p5 is loaded into the memory this is all about working of variable partition okay so what is the 
एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस इट डज नॉट वेस्टेज एनी स्पेस लाइक फिक्स पार्टीशन ओके सो दिस गेम्स वेस्टेज लेस मेमरी एज कंपेयर टू फिक्स पार्टीशन बिकॉज देर इज अ नो इंटरनल फ्रेगमेंटेशन एंड सेकेंड थिंग इज वॉट द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज हायर दैन द फिक्स ड्यू टू द वेरियस डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड अलगोरिजम यूज इन दिस मेथड दिस इज ऑल अबाउट वेरिएबल पार्टीशन ना योर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द नॉन कंटीजियस अलोकेशन सो नॉन कंटीजियस अलोकेशन मीन्स वॉट इन दिस अलोकेशन स्कीम द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फ्रेगमेंटेशन अराइजेस सो नॉन कंटीजियस अलोकेशन प्रोवाइड्स द बेटर मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके वॉट इज द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ कंटीजियस मेमरी अलोकेशन प्रॉब्लम इट कंसिज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ फ्रेगमेंटेशन सो ओवरकम दैट प्रॉब्लम द नॉन कंटीजियस अलोकेशन इज डेल ओके सो दिस अलोकेशन सपोर्ट्स और प्रोवाइड्स द टू मेथड्स दैट इज फर्स्ट वन इज द पेजिंग एंड दिस सेकेंड कंसेप्ट इज द सेगमेंटेशन नाउ यू कैन सी वॉट इज द वर्किंग ऑफ पेजिंग फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट इज मीन ऑफ पेजिंग इट इज अ चंक ऑफ मेमरी आर ऑफ सेम साइज और यू कैन से दैट पेजिंग इट इज अ फिक्स साइज पार्टीशनिंग स्कीम सो इन पेजिंग द सेकेंडरी मेमरी एंड मेन मेमरी आर डिवाइडेड इन टू द इक्वल साइज पार्टीशन ओके सो द पार्टीशन ऑफ सेकेंड मेमरी इज कॉल एज अ पेज एंड द पार्टीशन ऑफ मेन मेमरी इज कॉल एज अ फ्रेम यू कैन सी इन अ बिलो डायग्राम मेन मेमरी पार्टीशन इन टू द फ्रेम्स एंड द सेकेंडरी मेमरी इज अ पार्टीशन इन टू द पेज देन द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज योर सेगमेंटेशन ओके सो दिस टॉपिक कंसिस्ट it is uh, also uh, similar to the paging okay so pages are is a physical nature and the hence it is consists the fixed size but segmentations are the logical division of the program so it's having the variable size so the difference between the paging and the segmentation we'll learn into the next time next topic